In this problem, we're going to convert this number, which is in base 10, also known as decimal form, to base 7. To do this, we're going to repeatedly divide by 7 and write down the remainders. So we'll start by taking 7,508 and dividing it by 7. So if I put this in my calculator, I get 1,072 point, and I get a really long decimal, 0.571429. So now what you do is you take this part here and you multiply it by 7. Okay, so if you do that, 1072 times 7, you get 7,504. Again, step 1, divide by 7, then take the whole number part, multiply it by 7. Now you subtract these and your remainder is 4. So I'm going to write it down right here, 4. I'm going to put it in a box. That's our first remainder. This is going to be um, the, last, the last digit of our number in base 7. Okay, let's do it again. So now you take this number here and divide by 7. So 1072 divided by 7. Let's see what we get. 1072 divided by 7. I got 153 point, ridiculous decimal, 1428571. Then again, you take this number and multiply it by 7. 153 times 7. So this is 153 times 7. So I got 1071. So you subtract these and you get one. That's our next remainder. So you see the process is not so bad once you get it. So you divide by the number, get this, take this, multiply it by seven, subtract, get your remainder. Take this number, divide by seven, get this, take the whole number part, multiply it by seven, subtract, get your remainder. Let's do it again. Now we take 153, 153, and we divide that by seven. So this is 153 divided by seven. So I got 21. <laughs> 0.857 blah 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 it's huge <laughs> so I won't bother to write it let's take 21 times 7 21 times 7 147 then you subtract and so you get 6 boom all right good stuff we're getting there let's do it again so now we take 21 and divide that by 7 so 21 divided by 7 and that's equal to 3 okay 3 and then uh, you do 3 times 7, which is 21. You subtract. What's the remainder? The remainder is 0. All right, good stuff. Then you do it again. Now you take this number and divide it by 7. When you do that, you get 0.428, etc. So 0.429, you know, 8, 5, 7, blah, blah, blah. Crazy decimal, right? Crazy decimal. There's really a zero here, right? So technically, you're supposed to take this number and do zero times seven, and that gives you zero. And then when you subtract, you get three, and that's the last remainder. Let's go over these last two steps again because they're a little bit trickier. So in this case here, when you divide 21 by seven, you get three, okay? Point, and there's nothing here, it's just zeros. So we take the whole number part, multiply it by seven, and then we subtract like always, get a remainder of zero. When we do it here, we get zero point something. So if you wanna follow the pattern, you see how we kept multiplying in every case? Same thing here, right? We do 0 times 7, we get 0. Then we subtract 3 minus 0, and we get 3. All right, now we can write all these numbers down backwards, and that'll be the answer. So 3, 0, 6, 1, 4, and this is in base 7, is equal to 7, 5, 0, 8, and that's in base 10. I hope this video has been helpful.